week, an MSNBC analyst. All right, the yeah. cons Consumer Reports comes out. It's a big deal. They're jumping into it. What do you make of that? Well, this this is huge. This is a tremendously reputable publication for many, many years, and they are getting off the sidelines and into the debate. Uh, it's, it's that important that we have some kind of a bill. Uh, I've had it with the delays. You know, there was a there was a great line on uh, Mad Men last night where January Jones, uh, her character Betty, says, uh, "If you don't have power, you delay in politics." That's something that she learned. Well, that's what's happening now. Is the people who don't really have power are trying to delay this. And the power is seeping out of Max Baucus's hands right now. So he wants to delay a little bit. For, for many, many months, uh, Harry Reid was giving him a break. There were people all over town. Harry's talking tougher were, right now. They were urging Harry Reid, take uh, the uh, Ted Kennedy's committee and uh, uh, Chris Dodd's committee, take that bill directly to the floor, s go around Max Baucus. In order to stick with Baucus for a while, he gave him a chance. But he's had enough, and he wants to move this legislation. And it's time for the obstructionists to get out of the way so the American people can see this get done. We've seen this yeah. Olympic talk over the weekend. Yeah. The, the, the conservatives the GOP being very negative, pinning it on Obama as yeah, a yeah, failure. Yeah, right. I could just think very about... Very patriotic. What, of them, yeah, right? very patriotic. Yeah. Of them. I could just imagine what it's going to sound like if he doesn't get the kind of health care reform that he wants. Meaning the public option and meaning some kind of guaranteed competition for the private sector. So with that, and the job number's not where they want them to be, and it may go to 10, may go to 10 and a half. Greenspan's talking about that into next year. How much political capital, how much arm twisting does President Obama have to do at this particular time down the stretch on health care? As much as he can. I mean, the, uh, this is for all the marbles right now. Uh, uh, this is extraordinarily important. The Olympics is not important. This is. And he will do what it takes. He's very engaged. He's going to ex expend whatever political capital he can. But you've asked Linda Douglas the right questions. We need to know whether now that they're, they're getting down to, uh, you know, brass tacks, sure. this, is, this is the time when he, we're, we're going to see what Barack Obama's made of, how hard he's willing to push, and how effective he is. At this point, there is momentum for the bill. See, earlier in the summer yeah. when you and I were arguing, it was because I wanted to make sure that, the, that this bill was on track and that we were going to have legislation. Now it looks like we are going to have legislation, so it's time to fight as hard as we can for effective legislation. But my point is, yeah. the president eventually is going to have to tell Max Baucus, you're on the wrong side of the issue, right. we're going co-op, we're going to the public option. The co-op isn't going to make it. And I think his base is waiting for that. I mean, they've already given up single payer. So, yeah. well, see, at this point, what's changed recently is that Kent Conrad uh, had a chance to show that a co-op option could actually work. But he didn't ever come up with a real plan for yeah. how it would be effective in providing this kind of choice that the president has indicated that we need. So, you know, he, he's lost his chance. So now we should be back to the public option because the alternative there hasn't been fleshed out and, and apparently won't work. Jonathan, good to have you on. Thanks, Ed. Thanks so much.